Welcome back. This morning, we revealed that North Carolina is America's top state for business in 2022. The Tar Heel State winning for its economy, technology, and access to capital. But we do rank all 50 states, and Scott Cohn is with us from North Carolina with a look at the states that did not do so well. Scott? Kelly, you missed it. During the break, I rescued a swimmer. You missed it. Anyway, uh, here we are on Wrightsville Beach. Thank you to, to Rhett, the lifeguard, who's on his way to uh, make sure everybody is safe. It is true that if there are top states, there must also be bottom states. And so this year, these are the states that bring up the rear. Hawaii is a great place to live, although even that ranking slips a bit this year because we consider child care among our metrics. But it's still the most expensive place to live in and do business in in America. So, uh, so that's Hawaii. Tied with Hawaii at 46 is New Mexico, one of America's worst performing states for education and one of the highest crime rates. It is cheap to live there, though. Number 48 is Louisiana, low cost of doing business for sure, uh, leading the nation in targeted incentives like Opportunity Zones, but it also has the least reliable power grid in the nation, actually by far. State number 49 is Alaska, a slight improvement from its bottom state finish last year uh, because the economy's improved, but still dead last for infrastructure and tech and innovation. And speaking of dead last, here is this year's bottom state for business. State number 50, Mississippi, the Magnolia State, where the saying is true, you get what you pay for. Mississippi does offer the lowest cost of living and the lowest wage costs, but that buys one of America's least educated workforces, the least productive, the lowest concentration of STEM employees. New workers aren't exactly beating their feet to get here. It might not help that Governor Tate Reeves has led a crusade against inclusiveness, the most restrictive voting laws in the nation, and a ban on transgender girls in school sports, which Reeves said was in direct response to Biden administration policy. Which, in my view, encourages transgenderism amongst our young people. Put it all together and you get one of America's worst economies with a glut of regulations that puts Mississippi at the bottom for business friendliness. So much for Southern hospitality in America's bottom state for business. We should point out, of course, Mississippi is also the state that was at the heart of the, uh, the uh, abortion debate the law that the Supreme Court upheld to overturn Roe versus Wade. But abortion is not in our metrics this year. It's something we're keeping a close eye on is a lot of people try and make the case that there is an economic argument to keeping abortion legal. We did reach out to Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves office for a comment this morning after we released the rankings. We have not heard back. Uh, you can see where your state ranks and in all of our categories and everything else and read a lot more about how we figured out the top and the bottom states for business at topstates.cnbc.com. Kelly?